Are you sick and tired of getting the weights on and off your deadlift bar? Well, struggle no more with the DIY plywood deadlift jack. Take all the weights easy on and off the bar. Super awesome. Yeah. What is going on guys? Welcome to Brookie. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this deadlift jack inspired by the Genesis jack, one of the most amazing looking and feeling deadlift jacks in the world. So we're going to replicate this in plywood. And for those of you who always think that you need very expensive and crazy tools, what we're going to use today is going to be a drill and a jigsaw and mind you this jigsaw is more than 40 years old it's from my grandfather so if i can use this to make the deadlift jack you can do as well so the first thing that we need to do is to make some measurements i really need one real life measurement and that is the length from this hole here to the bottom so that means that we just take the measure from the barbell to the ground and we add two or three centimeters to that. Now we have a reference and because all barbells and all plates are typically the same height, we can use that to go online, look at the Genesis jack and make some measures based upon that one measure. What we really need to look for is pictures where the Genesis jack is looking straight at you. What we're going to do is we're going to roughly see what measurements they took. And for that, basically what we want is the height of the feet. That is very important. We also want the length of the feet. That's also pretty important. And then we want to see how much girth they take here in the back. Because we're working with wood and not with steel, what I did was I took a little bit more than the Genesis jack. So it looks a little bit bulkier, but uh, that's okay. We don't want this thing to fail on us. So that's why I chose to go a little bit thicker and to have more strength. I don't have very thick plywood. So what I use is 1.8 centimeter thick plywood. And uh, because I don't want to repeat my cuts with the jigsaw, I'm going to glue two pieces together. So what I'm having here is a board that is 80 centimeters by 42. So the 42 is going to be the height of our deadlift jack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two strips of 18 centimeters and we're going to glue them together. So now that everything's dry, we can transfer the measures and the drawing onto the plywood itself. I am going to make the center hole first because that is also really the most important part and everything else is going to be measured off of that. Now that I've made all my markings, I'm going to take the jigsaw and make the rough cuts. also going to drill holes and I'm going to drill them a little bit further from my drawing so that I only have like a small indentation every single time. I'm going to need four because I have four long fingers and a thumb but the thumb doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah that's that. What you also see with the Genesis jack is the bigger feet and you're gonna want to need this because you want to have a solid base if you're using the deadlift jack. 
What I also neglected to realize is that this part here is also very important because if you don't have this, the deadlift jack can tip over. But now that we have this foot here, it can stay right in place, which is very good. For the feet, what I was thinking is, hey, I could use some leftover parts that I cut out out of the deadlift jack. And then I realized, hmm, I glued them together, so I'm probably screwed. Now luckily for me, with a chisel and a light tap of the hammer, I could open the two pieces of plywood and uh, put one on either side. Functionally, we're done here. So what I said about the jigsaw and the drill, that's it, you, you only need that. But uh, I wanted to make mine feel a little bit better, so I took a round over bit and I rounded out the edges of the handle here. And then I took a chamfer bit and I did all the rest. Because I want to have these feet here, I only stopped where the feet are going to be. The rest of the chamfer will be on the feet themselves later on, so uh, don't worry about that. wanted to do is I wanted to put some bolts in mainly because I don't really trust wood glue especially in a garage gym where it's going to be wet and moist sometimes so I put in some bolts on either side so it looks a little bit pretty make sure if you put in some bolts um, I put them in for the length of the foot here you can't just put a bolt on the same place on either side because the bolts are going to hit each other so you might want to be mindful of that and uh, because here we're going to have a thinner piece, I put in some screws. I'm not going to paint this, I'm not going to coat this because I think it looks awesome the way it does. Also, if you want to take these bolts in, make sure that you pre-drill them before you put them in, otherwise you're going to split the wood and you're going to have to do the cuts all over again. So we don't want that. So that's why I really recommend pre-drilling before tapping in the bolts. So yeah, that's really it. to make this one yourself by all means go for it this is very cheap I used no new materials everything was scrap you can make this for free all you need is a bit of your time and uh, yeah just having fun so thank you so much for watching guys I hope you liked this video I hope you got something out of it if you did please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with a friend who you think needs a deadlift jack and I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next video Peace.